Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Ayan. So today I'll be giving you updates coming from the Department of Education and some concerns and issues related to Department of Education. At isa sa mga i-share ko ngayon sa inyo is itong ating Action Research Series na kung saan swak na swak po siya sa New Normal Education. But before we're going through with our sample, kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe sa akin channel, just hit the subscribe button na nasa ilalim for more updates about our video. Ayan. So I hope may matutunan kayo dito sa i-share ko sa inyo na Action Research but before I am going to start, may I give credits to the following authors of this action research. Ma'am Glenna Penyafiel, Ma'am Vilma Gamilia, and Ma'am Lovely Joy Gavairon. Ayan, so, ang kanilang topic na kanilang research is the involvement of grade 1 parents in the implementation of the modular printed learning basis for intervention or intervention plan. Ayan. So, nandito po yung una natin na part ng acting action research, the introduction. So, kung gagawa ka ng introduction, it should be ano yung pinaka-broad na problem na nakikita mo sa loob ng classroom mo or sa loob ng paaralan mo or even sa society natin na yan. Then, the next uh, paragraph dyan, pwede ka din magbigay ng author or RRL in support that your uh, problems really exist. Ayan, or yung uh, idea mo ay nag exist siya kasi doon magagamit siya sa RRL mo na searchable yung research mo. Ayan. And of course, the last part of your introduction should be a challenge or the other term for the master's degree. Doon sa last part mo is yung research gap mo. Ano ba yung hindi pa na, uh, na bibigyan ng action research na gusto mong uh, bigyan ng action doon sa interaction research mo. Ayan. So, hindi ko na siya isa-isahin pa. Nagbigay lang ako ng tips on how to make an introduction. But if you want to have or to have a soft copy of other research na meron ako, you can actually comment your email address dito sa comment section sa video na ito. At saka sa mga nanghihingi po ng soft copy previews ng mga videos ko sa hindi ko pa po nasendan. So just wait a moment po kasi napakarami po ang nagre-request and just to wait for your turn. Ayan. So... And the next part will be your the statement of the problem. So specifically, this uh, study answer to the following questions. Yung number one natin is the, the extent of the involvement of parents in the implementation of the modular printed learning. Number two natin is the experiences of the grade one parents in the implementation of the modular printed learning. And based on those results above mentioned, what appropriate action plan that needs to be taken. So napapansin ninyo sa one and two natin, yung kanyang questions na pagka-construct is uh, ang number one po is it involves quantitative, ibig sabihin numbers po siya, uh, pasasagutan ng, uh, ng uh, researcher at saka makocompute po siya through weighted uh, mean for number two naman experiences, ibig sabihin dito is uh, magkakaroon ng qualitative dito uh, that is interview with the guide, guide questions doon po ang mangyayari. Ayan. So, this is actually a mixed uh, method action or uh, research. Ayan. Then, the next part natin is the innovation, the intervention, and the strategies. So, how you're going to innovate, how you to, to strategize your action research. So, nandito po siya. So, to make uh, or to better understand, ito po yung ating conceptual framework na kung saan merong input, the involvement of grade 1 parents, and meron din tayong process which is the intervention that is after the study and then the output is the action plan that you're going to make. Ayan. For the methodology and the research design, the researchers will be using a quantitative methods for this study. So, sabi ko nina, quantitative. And then sa ilalim, kung mapapansin ninyo, meron din siyang qualitative. So, because it would actually do the mix, uh, the, 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 the mix method. Ayan. So, dalawa po ikakandak dito. And for the methodology, nandiyan pa sa ilalim, the teachers will really follow the protocols in conducting the research and of course the questionnaires will be uh, validated by the master teachers of the school. Ayan. So for the respondents naman, uh, nandito pa sa ilalim yung how to conduct the study to contact the principal, the consent of the respondents and even the parents. Ayan. Then, how to choose a respondent? So since uh, this school or our school has only two sections for the grade one so probably they will be the the respondents of the study the whole populations of the grade one carrot and the grade one cabbage ayan so you, uh, it's better to make a table out of your respondents para mas madali siyang makita or mas maintindihan yan yun po yung next part natin next 
Next, the next part natin is the research instrument. So, yung research instrument po dito is the researchers will be using the self-made. The questionnaire yung self-made po, validated by the, teach, uh, the master teachers of the school. Yan. And of course, for the statistical, statistical treatment, of course, uh, how the, the, the researchers were going to treat all the data. So, mayroon ng weighted mean pool dyan, the frequency, the distributions, the percentage, the FGD, the group uh, focus group discussions, with the guide questions. Ayan po. So, yun po yung mga how the researchers are going to treat the data. Ayan. And of course, the last part is the references, which is very important also. Yun lang po yung pinaka-basic Ayan, pinaka-basic part ng ating action research. So, maraming maraming salamat po for watching. I hope you learned something. So, don't forget to subscribe and to comment below your email address and just wait for your turn if you have to avail or if you want to avail the soft copy of this action research. Ayan, so thank you so much for watching. God bless everyone.